the Hurt to Gruten cruise line is kind of an interesting um, setup. It's not only a cruise line to carry passengers, but it's a working ferry boat. And on this 12 day um, south to north, north to south trip that each ship goes on, um, we only did six days, the north to south, but it stops at a number of ports along the way. Um, we probably stopped at 30 plus ports in the six days we were on the ship, and it provides a valuable um, um, resource. It brings in supplies and, and takes out supplies. It hauls passengers, day passengers, overnight passengers. It's a car ferry. And then up above is the whole passenger area for those who are using it as a cruise ship. And so, you know, over and over at all times of day, we pull into these little obscure towns, the sides of the ship drop open, cars come on and off, cargo comes on and off. Um, real, real interesting thing. Some other facts on the ship. Um, the ship is 400 feet long, cruises about 15 knots during the day, um, can hold upwards of 590 passengers. But the funny thing is, is it lists that it has 476 beds. So 100 passengers don't get beds. I assume that's day, day tripper room they have. Um, built in 1997, relatively new ship, I guess, redone in 2016. Um, built in the Netherlands. It was a, a fun ship. It had a, a, you know, an exercise room. It had restaurants, bars, lounges, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. So really a, a fun thing. We entered uh, Slobar in the uh, Ufton Islands in a very cloudy afternoon. Um, and Slobar is beautiful. And, you know, we didn't, we didn't get to see that. And we boarded a bus and we had a fascinating tour um, around a couple of the islands. And one of the highlights of our, our visit was um, the Coral Beach which I had no idea there was cold water coral. This is an actual coral um, beach. And, um, and then we saw the, the stockfish where they hang the uh, cod out to dry. And uh, that was, uh, was just fascinating. And we had a great bus tour and um, got some great photos and uh, saw several of the islands. And then we met up with the ship um, down the coast a little bit about three hours later and it was the only time we were off the ship when the ship moved ports and um, um, it was kind of a it was a very neat neat tour and uh, 
Our tour guide went on about how lucky we were to, ha to have the, the great visibility and we kept looking out the windows and seeing nothing but fog and, and, and clouds, but I guess this is a very um, cloudy part of Norway. The morning of June 25th marked our 39th wedding anniversary. That's pretty cool. And when we crossed the uh, Arctic Circle, the Arctic Circle is at 66.33 degrees north. We started this trip above the Arctic Circle in the land of the midnight sun, and finally we, we crossed it. And uh, when you cross it, there's a big ceremony. Everybody gathered on the aft deck. They had champagne. You had to eat cod liver oil. Um, and then you got a silver spoon for crossing it and all that took place as we passed the, the Vikening, I, Vikening Island. Um, that's where there's a small globe mounted that marks the, the 66 degree latitude line. So kind of a fun ceremony. Crossing the Arctic Circle was our first adventure of the day, but later in the day, uh, we stopped in the in the city of Brennensen, and uh, there we boarded a tour bus and traveled up to the Torhatten um, Cave. It's actually a hole through a mountain, and um, it was made during the Ice Ages. Um, geology is a fascinating thing. Um, it's a big granite dome rock but it had a softer rock core inside that washed away as the glaciers were retreating and the water was flowing. As there was less ice on the land, the islands rose. And so this once was at sea level and it got higher and higher as the ice retreated. Um, and it left this hole through the mountain. The other explanation is the one the Norwegians tell you. Trolls got into a fight. He was rescuing a girl. The bad guy shot an arrow. The good guy, the good troll threw his hat up. The arrow went through the hat, the hat um, put a hole in it was turned to rock, but he saved uh, his love. So that's one of those stories is true. But it was an easy hike up there. We got to spend time inside the, the, the hole through the mountain, um, which is quite dramatic. When you're inside, the ceiling's 115 feet above your head. The cave is over 500 feet long. Um, just, it was very beautiful. It was just a fun, fun outing. And then we returned to the bus, back to the ship, and uh, proceeded south um, to uh, Trondheim. Was our next destination.
What we are looking at here is Nidarostomen in Trondheim, Norway. This is a very famous church um, known as the burial spot of St. Olaf, who brought Christianity to Norway. And um, it's a very magnificent building, but what I've learned is that it's not the original building in any sense of the word. It was built in the year 800 or something like that, and then it was burned down, and then it was sacked by the Danes, and then it was burned down again. So they've just been constantly sort of rebuilding over the over the years, and they are still doing lots of renovations um, on this building every year. So you can see many different time periods of architecture represented when you look around and it's very impressive. Um, but the other thing about this place is that it's not really the burial spot of St. Olaf. It's, it was maybe at one point, but then in the year 1100, the Danes stole his body and, you know, disappeared it somewhere. Um, and uh, it's basically been unaccounted for since then. Uh, so what I learned is that this is a fake, fake church and a fake place and a fake burial spot in Norway. So enjoy!
My sister-in-law is a very talented artist. Um, she makes beautiful things out of anything. She can find rocks on the beach and make a beautiful creation, or she can do stained glass or paint or, you know, anything. And on our trip to Norway, she took this picture. And this picture has puzzled me the whole time I've been making these videos. What was she trying to capture here? You know, what? what is it? Is it that there's just a glimmer of the boat in the background? Was there something about the, the garage door that appealed to her? I will ask her, but this has been the picture I have probably looked at the most and pondered of all the pictures um, in this, this show. So, there you go.